Hello, Biology 112 students. It is Brett the Lab Tech again, and I'm here today to model mitosis and meiosis using these pop beads. So in uh, lab we have these sets of pop beads that are really handy to uh, go through the stages of mitosis and simulate what's happening inside of that cell. So before we begin, we're going to uh, set up our cell, and this is a uh, eukaryotic cell that is about to divide, or going to divide eventually. So it needs a plasma membrane, and also a nuclear membrane. And the nuclear membrane, uh, remember, is a double membrane with some holes in it. That is what I'm going to draw. All right. And the nucleus, again, is where the genetic material is housed in the form of chromosomes. We will get some chromosomes in there. And here we have damaged chromosomes. There we go. Uh, we have four different chromosomes. Uh, we have these two long ones, and we're going to say that the uh, red one was the maternal chromosome, and the, the yellow one was the paternal chromosome. Uh, and these might have slightly different genetic information for each gene, which would be each bead here. Uh, but they have the same uh, types of genes on them. So. These chromosomes keep breaking. DNA is easily damaged. Okay, uh, and then there's a shorter chromosome, uh, which, is, which has different genes on it than the longer chromosomes. Uh, and again, we have one that came from mom, one that came from dad. So uh, maternal and paternal chromosomes. Uh, and normally, if the cell is in interphase, especially this G1 of interphase, uh, the chromosomes are unduplicated, and they are kind of taking up the entire nucleus. They're in the, the form of chromosomes. They're kind of a, a jumbled mess inside the nucleus. Uh, the cell is also going to have a pair of centrioles to make up the centrosome. I'm just going to put those right over there for now. Uh, <clears throat> and this is our cell in G1 of interphase. It's just going about its normal business, doing whatever this particular cell needs to do. So as the cell uh, maybe gets a signal or uh, grows enough um, that it decides it's going to uh, start replicating, uh, the first thing it needs to do is to replicate the DNA. And this happens in interphase. This happens in the S stage of interphase. So we have our little uh, uh, clock here of the cell cycle, uh, which is the same as figure one in your book. And, and when the cell enters the DNA synthesis stage, it starts to copy the DNA. So some materials need to be brought in from outside the cell. And uh, each chromosome is replicated. So I'm, And this all happens inside the nucleus, even if... Uh, I can't keep them all inside the nucleus. So the centromere is replicated, and then gene for gene, base for base, uh, the DNA gets copied. And these copies stay attached to each other at the centromere. Uh, this process of chromosome duplication is uh, slow relative to a lot of the other cell cycle events. And this is because there are so many bases of DNA to copy. In human cells, there's what, six billion of them. So, okay, are those equal? Nope. Um, during this process of copying, there is some error checking. So, uh, proofreading and repair if the copies aren't quite right. Uh, okay, 
And there we have one replicated chromosome. And we'll replicate the short maternal chromosome here. Beads don't stick together as nicely as I'd like. We'll make it work. Okay, well, maybe that'll be the short side. Okay. There we go. This DNA is easily damaged. Okay. So, so all the paternal chromosomes are replicated. Now we'll replicate the maternal chromosomes. chromosome replicated. And the long maternal chromosome. You won't hurt my feelings if you skip ahead. <laughs> I guess if I was nice, I would have told you that uh, right after I started replicating these. Okay. All right. So we have reached the end of the replication stage. So we've got duplicated chromosomes uh, for each uh, chromosome that was there. We now have copies of that chromosome, and these copies are attached at the centromere. Okay, so now we are going to get into uh, G2, the second gap phase of interphase where it doesn't seem like much is happening uh, but actually the cell is getting ready for mitosis so it's starting to stockpile all the materials it needs the centrosome replicates uh, so another pair of centrioles is produced and now the cell is ready to go through mitosis so there's another checkpoint um, that needs to be passed. Uh, and the first stage of mitosis is prophase. So in prophase, uh, what happens is the chromosomes that were in that form of chromatin, they were uncondensed, they were kind of going throughout the nucleus, they start to condense and become visible. And uh, the other thing is that the um, uh, mitotic spindle, which is composed of these centrosomes and some spindle fibers starts to form. I'm going to use this green uh, pen to indicate the spindle. And the uh, centrosomes, which are kind of the opposite poles of the spindle, 
start to move in opposite directions. Leave it there. The other thing that happens during prophase is that the nuclear membrane breaks down. So it gets fragmented into little tiny pieces that can be reused later. But we're just going to erase the nuclear membrane. All right. And then the uh, the spindle fibers, which are kind of radiating out from the centrosomes, kind of in all directions, really. Um, some of those are going to start attaching to the chromosomes. So here we're getting towards late prophase. Um, and and just maybe arrange them like that. So this is going to be towards late prophase. Spindle fibers are attached to each um, centriole. Okay. Uh, and then they start moving around. And the chromosomes start moving around until they end up along the equator of the cell. It occurs to me I need more room here, but that's okay. Imagine this is still all inside the cell. So this, we're gonna move that clock to metaphase. This is metaphase. Uh, the chromosomes are lined up along the equator of the cell. The spindle fibers are attached and have approximately equal tension on them. And this is the moment that the cell passes another checkpoint and decides, well, okay, now we can separate the uh, chromatids. So each uh, chromosome is composed of sister chromatids, genetic exact genetic copies of each other. And the, again, the goal of mitosis is to separate these copies and get them into new cells. So as soon as the centromeres break, we are now in anaphase. So anaphase, the chromatids move in opposite directions. Um, the microtubules that make up the spindle fibers shorten uh, until the chromosomes are pulled to these opposite poles of the cell. All right, the other thing that happens is the cell physically elongates. There are some uh, non kinetochore microtubules that push the centrosomes apart. Uh, I haven't drawn those here, but that's also happening. When the chromosomes stop moving, uh, that's really when telophase starts. And telophase is when uh, the nuclear membrane reforms around the chromosomes. those uh, spindle fibers aren't inside the nuclear membrane so we'll get rid of those and nuclear membrane has pores in it we'll draw those in and do the same thing over here got some damaged DNA no Kind of like that. Get some 
pores in there. Get our chromosomes inside of that. All right, so that is the end of mitosis. So that is the division of the nucleus. Um, but the cell is not done dividing, uh, or at least most cells don't stop dividing here. They also need to divide the cytoplasm. So, uh, so we already had karyokinesis, which is the movement of the nucleus, right? Now we need cytokinesis, the movement of the cell or the division of the cell. And the way that that happens is a little bit different between plants and animals. I'm going to pretend that this is an animal cell. Uh, it's headed into telophase. And that membrane starts to constrict in the middle. And it starts to constrict where those chromosomes lined up um, during metaphase. And then it constricts even more. And even more until finally it is two separate cells. And these two separate cells are now back at G1 of interphase. So they could grow and duplicate. Uh, again themselves, or if they're done dividing, they might go off into G0, uh, which is kind of this resting stage where cells that don't ever plan to divide again end up. Uh, but they're not really resting. They're, they're still doing all their normal cell things. So that is mitosis.